So my name's Cam. Um, I'm the founder of Linen. I went through Y Combinator in 2020, and we actually started out with a different open source project. But the product we're working on now to call, is called Linen. Um, it's a open source uh, Slack alternative that's designed to be Google searchable and discoverability. We generate a lot of organic SEO content. Um, we can host it under your domain, so everything is custom and branded. Um, we are also working on custom single sign-on. We have a, a little, over like 10 million threads and messages that are being synced. Slack and Discord, where it's not, it's proprietary, it's closed source. And I feel like if you're using open source tool and you should use, use something for the job. Um, so that, that was one reason to open source. Um, the more practical aspect from a business standpoint, um, uh, open source allows you to give a lot of, uh, trust in the community trust in the code base in um people like seeing the project you have trust in terms of privacy and security mm -hmm. and then um a trust in that like the code will still be here even if the company is gone from a competitive landscape like you may need to make sure your license is like properly set up set up um because they, when we were doing paper cups we, we had a few people straight up cloning our stuff and trying to resell it um, and, you know, some people might be okay with that, uh, but uh, it also depends on kind of your motivations of it. Um, yeah. If you want to learn to build an open source company, I think you kind of have to figure out the, the, the business model. You have to figure out who you will eventually sell to. Um, you sell an enterprise version of it. Um, and then the other one is, it's like a SaaS product. So you have Sentry, it's kind of how Linen is operating. Um, these other tools that are open source, uh, like plausible they, things like that, that are um, a SaaS product essentially that happens to be open source. And do you think that represents a new sort of like a new type of open source project, something that is you know more recent? Uh, how would you describe? Yeah, it? I, I I I do think it, when we were first starting paper I think it was becoming more of a trend um, then. I think we were one of the. Uh, there, there were companies before, but you, you see a, like emergence of that business model, that open core business model. Um, I think like with the success of like GitLab and Mattermost, those kind of type of company, they kind of pioneered this like open core business model. Um, the SaaS one is still a little bit different. I think like companies like Cal.com, they have more of a SaaS like uh, business model. How I have hired in past is we typically do a contract and then based on how that goes, we, you know, we move forward. Right. The interviews are just, you know, people might not be good at late code, but they might still be really good at coding. So um, <laughs> contracting tends to work better. I agree. Makes total sense. Uh, what's the best way for someone to get started today and contribute? Yeah, I would look at, um, I would just start kind of looking into the code base and I would just probably try to use it. If you use it and um, have some feedback and have pull requests, that'd be great. That would be great. And I'm sure people uh, will check it out. Well, uh, thanks so much for sharing uh, all this information. And uh, I do think a lot of this will benefit um, people who are building in the space. And so really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Awesome.